Um, the main important thing I want you guys to understand, or again to remember, is if you guys have f of f of j of x based on your notes, that rep that equals f of j of x being entered into the f of x function. So now instead of x being our input variable, we have three. So this is equivalent to f of j of three as our input value. So if do we have a j of x? Yes. If we have j of x, can we figure out what j of three is? Yes. Sure, of course we can. So if j of x is equal to five minus x, j of three is equal to five minus three. Correct? So j of three is equal to two. Now we take the two and we plug it in for um, here. So in reality, what we're doing is, well, actually, let's go and plug this in, f of x. So therefore, we have uh, negative 3x plus 2. However, that's negative 3 times j of 3 plus 2. You guys see what I did? I plugged the j of 2 in for x, right? Well, now, do we already know what 2 is, j of, or j of 3 is? Yeah. It's 2. So in reality, this is negative 3 times 2 plus 2. Using my um, order of operations, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative <coughs> quattro. Oh, I thought this was the fast talker class. <laughs>